I'm David Sorensen, Virginia Sorensen's husband of 56 years, and I'm wearing this dancing granny sweatshirt in her memory. A few thank yous, first of all. Thank you, Judge Doro. You earned your angel wings in this trial. Thank you to the jurors and those who testified who had to experience the horror of November 21st of last year all over again. Thank you, District Attorney Sue Upper, Leslie, Zach, and her excellent team. Thank you to Tom Casey, Waukesha Law Enforcement, first responders both on and off duty at the parade, medical personnel at the parade and the area hospitals that cared for the injured. Thank you, Jan Dunn, and your caring team in the victim witness office, especially my new furry friend, Pepper. Here's a thank you that nobody knows about. Thank you to J.J. Watt. He's a professional football player for the Arizona Cardinals who gave up, gave this community um, money for funerals for the victims, six family funerals. Finally, thank you to the kind and compassionate people of Waukesha County, state of Wisconsin and others from around the country and the world who have helped the victims of the Waukesha Christmas Parade find comfort, shared in their loss and sorrow, prayed for the injured, and offered words of caring so that we may heal both physically and mentally. Although I have very specific thoughts on how I and the parade families would want revenge on the convicted for what he did, I hand over his fate now to God. So I will let God determine the revenge I ask for, be it a week, a month, a year, a lifetime. I think it's fair to say the convicted is an evil animal, and I hope that God's wrath falls upon him. It actually started before the trial did, because he took away his own God-given name, he didn't want to be known by his name. Refuse to accept him. I refuse to accept him as a person that deserves compassion or mercy. I too regret Wisconsin does not have the death penalty because if someone ever deserved it, the convicted most certainly does. Life in prison is too kind. That Bible on your table will not do you any good for where you will end up. I have struggled this past year with Jenny's Lost. It was to be her last parade. She was going to retire. <clears throat> I will continue to struggle with the loss. I am lucky to have family to care for me and wrap me in love so that I can start to glue together the shattered life I now have. I know Jenny probably saved our two granddaughters who sit behind me their lives by carrying the banner that day in their place, and I thank God for that. The life that Jenny and I built over 56 years of marriage was forever altered nearly a year ago. I will carry on in this new life with help from my family and friends. The life I was once able to share with Jenny is gone, but it has strengthened my family's closeness and in a way made us stronger for the great challenges we have ahead of us. I feel sorry she will not be able to hold a great grandchild or see all of her children, grandchildren be successful in life. But I pray to her and know she is watching over us. My Christian faith and church have helped me cope with my sadness and find hope and love over hate. My friends have lifted me up in their prayers. My family carries my burden with me. My dogs at home give me a small measure of comfort when I am in need. Angels will watch over all of us and give us strength. Now I want you to use your imagination a little bit. When it thunders, I imagine that Jackson is blasting a home run over the fence. When there is a rainbow, I will imagine the dancing grannies, Jenny, Tammy, Lee, and Bill, with them dancing along its lines. When there's a ray of sunshine poking through the clouds, 
I will imagine it is Jane smiling down on us. When it snows like it did this morning, I will imagine God's love giving us a blanket in comfort. When I see a blue light, I see this community's commitment to help heal and support each other. Judge, you have witnessed the same evil I have. You have endured a very emotional and draining that trial as I have. I ask for the full punishment within your power. I ask you to send this evil animal to life in prison with no chance for parole for the callous murder of my wife and five others and injuring 61 others. He should never have the opportunity to hurt another person and has forfeited his right to be a free man ever again by his violent actions against innocent lives, both young and old. You are a very evil, evil animal. Amen. <laughs>